Speaking of McDonald's, love it, hate it, neutral on it. That's very well known. It's a quite a large company, one of the largest companies in the U.S. for that matter. International stores are everywhere. Stores in China, stores in Europe, stores in Asia, all over the continent. McDonald's has a way to distribute food to the people. Hamburgers, french fries, all those sort of things. So the symbol, all stocks, all pieces of companies will have symbols. McDonald's is just MCD, easy to remember. Netflix is NFLX, and so on. And so Google is G-O-O-G, -O -O -G, things you just have to memorize or just look them up. But the company has, a, has divided itself. So McDonald's, over the years, has split itself to almost a billion pieces. Did you know that? I didn't realize that until I looked it up. So McDonald's actually is split into almost a billion pieces to own parts of it. And those little pieces are worth value. So the company, this is going back to September of 2014, the last quarter that just as of these series we're recording, for the final quarter, looking at $28 billion. It made about $30 billion in profit. If you divide the profit by the number of shares, so the 28 billion in this, it comes down to about 28.33, so almost 20, 28, $29 per share. We call this the big magical financial term, earnings per share, what they earned. If a company lost money, if they expanded or took out a lot of loans or just the sales weren't good, this could be a loss, it could be negative. We don't want that to happen. In fact, if you have a lot of stocks in your portfolio, pieces of companies, that's happening, you probably don't want that to go, keep going on. So that's what we're looking at. And the companies that do well, that make money, that profit over time, they'll often reward their shareholders, which are you, your ownership. You're owning this company. You physically own, in a sense, a piece of McDonald's. So they are happy that you do that. And they reward you and they thank you with dividends. And a dividend, say, is about 3% per year. Companies may raise them, may lower them. But if they make money, the company makes money, they want the people that own the company to make money as well. So a dividend is money that really just goes into your account. So you don't have to do anything else to it. It's, it's the money's there. They make it, and they give it to people who own the company. That's really cool. So how much is it worth? Take the number of shares, which is about a, you know, about a billion shares there, and multiply that by the current price per share. Now, this changes on a daily basis. What a stock is worth is going to be up and down in terms of what the market thinks, and excitement, all kind of features, cause a stock price to rise or fall. As of just recently, last Friday, it was about $90 per share. One piece of McDonald's cost about $90. If you want to own it, two shares cost $180, 10 shares, $900, and so on and so forth. So that's the same thing. So $90, which is about what it traded at, the value of it, equals about $82 billion. So McDonald's is about $83 billion. That's pretty freaky. That's, that's a lot of money. Apple, ExxonMobil, Google, all of these companies, it's very easy to figure out what they're worth. Very easy, actually. Just go to Yahoo Finance or any number of websites like that. Figure out how many, how many times it's divided itself, how many shares outstanding that it's done and then multiply that by the current price, that's what we call market cap or market capitalization. If you hear these words small cap, mid cap, or large cap, that's what that means. So some companies are worth a couple of million in the stock market, some are worth 10, 20, 30 million, some are worth, et cetera. It goes up the scale to billions of dollars. So anyway.